I went to in Chicago. Um, and I heard a speaker named Catherine Pirtle speak on a book called um, Beyond a Gluten-Free Diet, which is by Dr. Weston A. Price. And basically, I didn't realize that when you go gluten-free, when you're diagnosed with celiac, or, um, you, you prevent further damage to your intestine, but you don't really restore the, the damage that's been done. So basically, like if you imagine this, this is a little villi in your intestine. When you eat gluten, it goes away. And all of these little fingers grab the nutrients. So whereas I might look healthy to you, and I've been gluten-free for almost a year now, um, a person like me could be severely malnourished. Um, I know when you think of malnourishment, you think of a different picture than what you're looking at now. But normal people can be severely malnourished. And it's because these little villi, you don't really, they're so flattened out that they're not grabbing the nutrients that you're, from the food that you're eating. So basically, maybe you've stopped the damage, but you need to repair the villi. And just eliminating gluten is not going to do that. You need to eat a certain diet to repair. And I had no idea about this, and I've just kind of started to implement it into my life. And it's going well. It's only been about a week. But yeah, it's going very well. Um... You, need, you have to have adequate fat in your diet. And I am a person who's, you know, I try to go f pick the low fat option. I try to eat healthy all around. And obviously I'm realizing now that I can have adequate fat and still have a very balanced, healthy diet. Um, but to eat things like, um, let's see here, like raw or organic butter, coconut oil. These are very, very good fats. Um, beef and uh, from grass-fed cows, eggs from pasteurized chickens, um, yogurt, and um, kefir, which are the probiotic uh, yogurts that help with digestion are amazing. Kombucha tea, um, sauerkraut, and fermented vegetables. Apparently there are lots of recipes on making your own. I have yet to do this, but you can also buy a lot. Um, it's really... It's really the probiotics, which are the good bacteria to put into your system that you really hope to gain from this kind of diet. Um, also, making a bone broth soup, which I just learned about and thought it was kind of freaky and the name still kind of freaks me out. But getting the nutrients from the bones that you boil and putting all you know organic vegetables in, and I put coconut oil in mine, that is how you heal. You need to change your diet. You know, I do love my gluten-free cookies now and then, but this is really kind of the core of it all, especially in the beginning, especially when you're first diagnosed. You've got to eat to improve your body and to, to restore your health. Um, another wild-caught salmon and seafood is another good option. Fish eggs. Um, these are all really great, great options. You should check out the book Beyond a Gluten-Free Diet by Dr. Weston A. Price or... Um, Check out Catherine Pearl. She has a book called Performance Without Pain, um, which is also excellent. So I would check out those sources for more information. For, feel free to email me, tinsley at sealybow.com. I'm happy to assist you in any way I can, bounce some thoughts off each other, share some recipes. So thanks so much for watching. As always, it's from Have Not to Have and Gluten-Free Dining. Hope everyone's doing well.